Q&A and I love filming Q&A's and I posted a picture on Instagram and asked you guys to ask me questions and actually I had to refilm this video because apparently I wasn't filming the first time that I filmed it and I went to upload a video or I went to edit it and I was like oh crap it didn't film so I'm sitting down right now refilming it today so we will see how this goes I am gonna go ahead and start okay Jordan asked how long have you been playing golf I've been playing golf since I was seven years old and I started playing with my dad um, at a organization called the first tee and from that point on I was hooked I hit balls and stuff like on the driving range a few times when I was like two or three but I like started when I was seven and then I started playing tournaments like seriously when I was about nine so almost 11 years it's kind of crazy uh, Sabrina asked do you track macros which is like the number of protein carbs and fat you eat each day um yes and no I have a good idea of what macros are and what I need to be eating but I don't track them meticulously I used to do IIFYM but I don't really do that now I eat kind of more intuitively so that would be a no but I'm still kind of aware what's in my food but I don't like track every single gram Meg asked, what is your go-to nighttime moisturizer? I need a new one. Um, I really, really like the Gold Fat and Wake Up Call. I think it's a really, really good overnight moisturizer. Um, and it's very, very moisturizing. Gold Fat and is my favorite skincare line. And then probably my second favorite would be the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud. They're both really, really good. Um, but I think the Gold Fat and you could use probably every night more. Um, and then I also really like coconut oil, which is like really cheap and a great like DIY multi-purpose product. I love using coconut oil on my face. Um, so yeah. Meg also asked what is my favorite Lululemon item. Um, I really like my basic Lulu uh, running shorts. I forgot the exact name of them, but my favorite item right now is probably this skirt. Um, I wear it all the time for golf. It's for tennis or for golf. I really like how it has the pockets on the sides, the drawstring, um, and even has like plastic around the shorts so uh, the shorts underneath it don't like ride up and slide around. It's just like the most comfortable skirt um, and I really like the fun print. I wear this like all the time. I'm sure people get tired of it. Avery asked what my favorite bands are. Um, I really like, as far as like older bands, I love Journey, America, The Beatles, uh, Fleetwood Mac, um, and then like more modern bands. I really like Little Big Town. I like the band Perry actually, like for more like country stuff, those two. Um, if I think of any more, I'll put them on the screen. I'm really bad about thinking of bands on the top of my head because most of the people that I like are like single artists. I like Maroon 5. Uh, let me see. Oh, and I really like Walk the Moon. Yeah. Cause I love Shut Up and Dance, so it's probably my favorite bands. She also asked, what are my favorite TV shows? For sure, Pretty Little Liars, uh, the only TV show that I tune in every week to watch, and then Gossip Girl. So, all time favorite TV shows, for sure. I mean, Chuck Bass, Ezra Fitz, come on. Catherine asked, what is your favorite letter to write in cursive? Yes, that is an actual question, mine is Z. My favorite is definitely definitely an L. I really like the cursive L. I think you can make it really loopy and fun and cursive L for sure. Catherine, Chic Greek, asked some very political questions, which I probably won't answer or probably couldn't really answer. And then she says, sorry for the touchy question that you should feature your dad. I should feature my dad in a political video. He would, he would be great at that, but we're not bringing politics on here. She also asked, why is Half-Baked the best Ben & Jerry flavor? Um, it's hands down the best because like it's got cookie dough and fudge and vanilla and chocolate swirled together and it's literally like the best texture of ice cream that you will ever have and it's just the best like I've never had anything better than that like nothing can beat it because like the cookie dough is just cookie dough and then like the other ones don't have the cookie dough and the fudge it's just it's so good you guys have to try it. Okay, so Stephanie Vaderis, or uh, Catherine's little sister, also asked, do you miss your bangs? I used to have bangs um, a few years ago. I don't know if you guys remember them if you watched my videos back then, but I had front bangs, and I really, really liked them. I don't miss them just because I don't think I would be able to put up with them now. They are a lot of work, and they get annoying, but some days I do miss them, but not overall. Um, now I really like showing off my eyebrows, so... I felt like my bangs always covered up my eyebrows, so I probably- Okay, Stephanie also asked- oh, Of course the lawnmower starts right now. Shut up! 
Okay, so Stephanie also asked, on a scale of awesome to awesome, how awesome is Stephanie Rodaris? Stephanie, you are like, you set the bar for awesome, so I can't even describe your awesomeness. Like, you're like the most awesome that it gets. Like, it's kind of, I don't even have words for how awesome it is, except that it's like, awesome. You're awesome. Okay, Stephanie also asked, if you were forced to give up either Instagram or Snapchat, which one would you give up? Seriously, Stephanie, this is a hard question. Preferably neither. Um, can I give up Twitter and like have Snapchat and Instagram? But I really like Twitter too. But anyway, between Snapchat and Instagram, I'm gonna have to say I would give up Snapchat and keep Instagram because I love Instagram. I feel like it's more artsy. I feel like I can be more creative with my photos and they're permanent. Um, and there's something to look back on. It's kind of, it can be, your personal Instagram can kind of be like a little journal of your life. And if you're trying to build a brand or have a blog, um, it's something concrete that people can look at. Snapchat's kind of instantaneous and it's gone, which is what well, makes it fun, but I feel like the opposite of that is why I like Instagram, you know? So I'm gonna have to say I'd give up Snapchat, but that would be a really hard one. She also asked, will you ever give me the recipe recipe to those heavenly snickerdoodle things you made for the Christmas cookie party last year. Yes, I will. I will send it to you. I found it on Pinterest. I showed it in a vlogmas video, these paleo snickerdoodles, and they were the best thing ever. But yes, I will send you the recipe, and I will link the recipe down below if I find it. Uh, she also asked, like, good job with the question, Stephanie. How important is coffee to you? Coffee is very important to me. I don't function without coffee. I'm kidding. I just really like coffee. Both my parents love coffee. One more question for this short Q&A. Sabrina asked, what's your favorite favorite guilty pleasure food? Um, let me think of it. Probably ice cream. That's like my favorite treat food. Definitely. Um, or like cake with really good icing. But definitely like Ben and Jerry's. Probably my favorite guilty pleasure food. I also really like a good piece of pizza or a good burger. Just like good old cheap foods are probably like my favorite guilty pleasure foods. Because other than that, I really enjoy healthy foods. Like I could live off veggies and lean protein and fruit and all that, but ice cream, and good pizza, and a good burger. Guilty pleasure foods for sure. Okay guys, so that is it for today's Talk Tuesday Q&A. Leave any questions you have for next week's video down in the comments below, and I hope you guys have an awesome week, and I will see you all next time. Bye! A pair of old disorders to everything that's found is new and someone else's ticket saved for a time that you know did you see what happened here